Hi, so this is going to be a lesson on a Fred McDowell song called... I actually forget what the title of the song is all of a sudden, but I'll have it obviously in the title. And um, yeah, so the, the tuning for this song is Open G Spanish Tuning. And so after you get your guitar into Open G Spanish Tuning, then what you'll want to do is put your capo on the first fret. that information will be in the description box below and yeah so that's really all there is for the intro um, if you do like what you see there's that whole subscribe and like that thing that people do so there's that there are those options um, but yeah before the lesson I'll just play the song through once and then get into what he plays <laughs> And yeah, so that's uh, really how the whole thing goes. And to just summarize it, there are really three main licks. There's this one. That would be the first. The second would be the chord shape that he plays while he sings. And then the third is this variation of the first lick where he basically plays a the first lick down here. All right, so starting with the first lick, what you'll want to do is on the treble side, just fret or slide up to the fifth fret and then slide down to the third fret. This is all taking into account the cable. So fifth fret, one, two, three, four, five. And then what you'll do is on the third string, you'll kind of slide into just past the third fret going into the fourth fret. And then what you'll do is go right back into the fifth fret of the first string. So it'll be. And obviously with the style of Fred McDowell, you'll really not be worrying too much about any sort of noise that the slide makes. Like for example, obviously you've got to lift your slide off to be able to slide into that part that goes just past the third fret on the third string. Right there. And then after you do this slide, obviously you've got to kind of move back up to the top string. Both of those kind of situations result in an open string getting kind of naturally pulled off. But those are the sorts of things where once you start kind of hearing that, after you start getting comfortable, that's actually the thing that you want to start hearing are those little natural moments. Another thing to note with the slide style of Fred McDowell is that you don't really need to mute the strings before the slide. Actually, if you see him playing, he doesn't really do that at all. So he kind of uses that, that sort of piercing noise that the slide makes. And uses that kind of to inject a little bit of texture to his playing. 
The other thing is that, so that really, for the most part, covers the treble side of that lick, but the other thing that he might play, for example, at the beginning of the song, is that he'll do something like this. He'll start it like this. He doesn't really do that later on in the song, but at least to start he does. And if you want to do that thing to start off, you'll just go open, to the third fret and then just play that lick as normal. Alright, so that's the treble part. Then the bass part that gets added on is pretty simple. All you'll do is kind of thump on the fifth string open on beats two and four. One, two, three, four. Adds that syncopation. And it's okay if you kind of get some of the strings underneath it. It kind of gives it this power chord sort of sound. And then so you kind of just add that in. So that's really the idea, and actually, you'll I, I naturally kind of like mute the bass strings, but come to think of it, you really shouldn't do that because with Fred McDowell, he really lets it ring out. So I'll try that again. the first move and then now getting into the second move that he plays it's this sort of, sort of funky thing that it'll do so now obviously we are in open G Spanish tuning but just fret a C chord third fret of the fifth fret second fret of the fourth sorry third fret of the fifth fifth string, uh, sorry, third fret of the fifth string, second fret of the fourth string, and first fret of the second string, as if you're in standard tuning playing a C chord. And that'll give you this chord. And that's what he plays. Now, in the sort of Delta Blues style, you'll hear a lot of this like in Charlie Patton. He'll use the, of this C chord, he'll use these top four strings, sort of as a five chord. Sort of like that, and then kind of get back into whatever. Um, whatever he's playing, but in this case, um, Fred McDowell kind of uses that five chord shape and then adds in this third fret of the fifth string as sort of a bass kind of rhythmic note. So what you'll do is kind of bend that fifth string a little bit. And then with your pointer finger on the treble side, you'll just kind of come, I just go up and down. slight bend and you'll kind of want to be a bit looser than how I'm doing it um, I'm kind of being a bit stiff with my pointer finger but if you can kind of get it so that you're more like a little more floppy with your pointer finger so that it's not too aggressive coming up and coming down you kind of catch it with the nail part of your pointer finger so that it's almost a bit more percussive, I guess. And that's good. So yeah, but for the most part, that's really all that there is to that second move, right? So, so far it's this. Okay, 
So now we're getting into the last move of the song. It's really just this part. <laughs> at it really heavy kind of like that I guess where it starts on the fourth string you hit it open then go to the third fret and for these slides this Fred McDowell sort of thing I like to kind of get into the fret a little slowly sort of like a revving car engine That's what you'll do, 4th string, go into the 3rd fret slowly, and then just lift your slide off and that'll pull off. And then similar to that first lick, you'll come up to the 5th fret, you notice that they're really the same strings, the 4th string and the 1st string. And then go from 5 to 3. Then on the fifth string, you just hit it open. And then you kind of ride the fifth string up. Up to the fifth fret, so that your slide is actually all the way across the fifth fret. So this move, pull off, five to three. Open 5th string, ride the slide up on the 5th string up to the 5th fret. And now it's across the 5th fret. And now you, you strum the 5th and 4th strings together on that 5th fret, now that the slide is laying across there. strings where you just go but it's pretty straightforward and you'll hear it if you listen to the recording uh, I will add one more thing just for that first lick is that when you come back here you can actually lift your slide up so it's at an angle so that you're only hitting that fifth fret of the top string. That way, when you sweep up with your pointer finger, only the fifth fret of the top string will get played so that the second string can be open. And then you can get that major double stop. Hope 
hope that helps with this Fred McDowell song, and see you guys later.